Punk Revolution Man Now. Hey everybody, today we are going to be reviewing Tom York's newest album, Anima. Tom York, the freaking rock star legend from Radiohead, yeah! Releasing an album called Anima. What the frick? That sounds like freaking anime. This is gonna be the most epic album of all time. Freaking Radiohead and anime. Oh my god, let's take a look at the album cover. Is that a freaking person falling? Is he gonna be okay? Is that a metaphor? Is that gonna mean this album's gonna be super deep and emotional? Is my mind about to be freaking blown by freaking anime? Freaking Tom York? Freaking what the fuck? Okay, so seriously, folks, jokes aside, this is a glitchy IDM electronic. Mm, kind of like a pop album, so it's pretty freaking cool. Cause let's let's let's, let's talk about Tom York. So Tom York, Tom York, frontman of Radiohead, obviously a legendary band. Tom York also has had some solo releases, which have been have done very well as well. And I mean, let's just talk, you know, Tom York is super talented because he's a master of rock, obviously, given that he's you know frontman of one of like the most legendary rock bands. And uh, he's a freaking now now he's a freaking master of electronic music, freaking pumping out some sick IDM and electronic ambient techno. I mean, those are that's pretty talented. I don't know. I mean, I know a lot of excellent ambient techno musicians and a lot of excellent rock stars, but not very many that managed to do both executed very well. So let's give Tom York a high five. So that's pretty freaking cool. And is this album good? Okay, yeah, I mean, I think it's pretty good. You know, like if you like if you like Radiohead, this is an album you definitely should check out. It definitely sounds a lot like some Radiohead. I'm uh, I'm picking up a lot of especially The King of Limbs. Except I think uh, the King of Limbs, you know, they're similar in the sense that Anima and the King of Limbs both have a lot of like similar melodies and rhythms going on, but uh, and they're both very atmospheric albums, but I would say that Anima is a little bit more full of life. There's a little bit more life to it. There's a little bit more movement going on throughout Anima's songs, a little bit more, a little bit more fun, I guess you could say, um, in, in Anima than the King of Limbs. Uh, so it's like kind of like, uh, I guess if the king of limbs was like a depressed guy it, this would be like uh the king of limbs like manic brother that also like smokes weed and also feels depressed sometimes too and that's pretty cool you know i, I really like i said i'm really impressed by tom york's musicianship and uh i love the way these songs like move and groove there's always some like interesting you know like blah blah blah, 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 blah idm techno whatever shit going on that you can kind of follow and groove to it's not like it's not super repetitive it's not like it's not here to just fucking be a beat that like goes on for an hour it moves it grooves it's pretty progressive and i like the progressive elements so you know lots of good stuff to, to say about this album for sure nice soundscapes beautiful pretty i like that the tracks are varied there's some fun songs, there's some depressive songs, there's some like kind of slow grooving songs that sound like King of Limbs, some that sound like Kid A, so pretty cool, some that sound like freaking just like, I don't know, FKA Twigs, whatever, I don't even know. So, pretty cool, uh, but is this an ex excellent, outstanding album that's on par with like the best of Radiohead or whatever? I'm gonna say no, uh, this, you know, this, uh, this album kind of like, uh, you know, it kind of, even though it moves and grooves a lot and like has a lot of direction and is pretty, it's very pleasant listen, it's very pleasant listen. I feel like there's not much that he does with that pleasantness, pleasantness to like bring it somewhere really exciting and impressive that are, you know, something that's gonna basically make me want to return to this album multiple times. So it's overall just like a pretty pleasant listen throughout the whole thing, but it doesn't really do much with the pleasantness that like is just like super original, super new, super like innovative, super like, oh, that's a reason to return to this album. It's just like pleasant goodness. So for me, not crazy about the album, I'm giving it a seven out of 10, but if you're a Radiohead fan, you should go check it out. You should go listen to it. I think you're gonna like it a lot. Um, and uh, yeah, it's just exciting. Go Tom freaking York. Uh, oh, and I really like the last song on this album, Runway Away. That was a freaking cool, that was like that was like Tom York just going full weirdo IDM and honestly it was ex executed really well. I hope we get to hear more of this side of Tom York in the future because he clearly has that IDM shit down, man. <gasps> Punk revolution.